Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to a brand new video. So, got something brand new for you guys today. Something that just came out recently and it's from Eve St. Laurent. So, you want to stay tuned and check out what it is. Welcome back to the video. To jump right into it like always, from Yves Saint Laurent, we're gonna be talking about the new Lone Eau de Parfum. So like I stated earlier, this thing came out this year, like very recently, and this thing does smell amazing. So before we jump into the notes of this fragrance, let's go ahead and cover the presentation. As with all Yves Saint Laurent Lone bottles, you do have the silver cap, with the YSL logo on the top and you still have the standard cylindrical style bottle. The color of the juice in this one, you have a orange ambery type of color, which looks fantastic in my opinion. You still have a great atomizer on these as well as all the other ones to get a good spray that covers a good amount of your arm or whatever body part that you spray. So with that being said, besides the cap that we're all used to now and the bottle shape that we're all used to now, not really much to discuss here, but the color does look amazing. So let's jump into the notes of this one. There isn't exactly a perfumer that's listed for this one, but if you know the perfumer for this one, please comment it below. But what we have in the top of this one, we have some bitter orange and we have some bergamot. In the mid, we have some lavender and geranium. And in the base, we got some oak wood, bourbon, vetiver, and cedar wood. So out of all those notes that I just listed, what really stands out to me and to my nose is the bitter orange, that bourbon note, and the woods that support it. You do get a freshness from the lavender and a hint of the geranium that is in the background. So quick story on this fragrance right here. I did recently purchase this. I went and got it from a Sephora. Uh, been checking my phone, looking at it, trying to see which Sephora had it in stock. All of the local Sephora's in my area had it in stock, so it shouldn't be a problem to go out and find this fragrance. But when I got to the Sephora, they didn't have it on the shelf, which I think a lot of people at Sephora, they, if you're not really a fragrance type of person, you're not gonna be super excited when things first come out, you're not gonna notice if it's on the shelf or not. So, like I said, on my phone, it said it wasn't stock. Went to Sephora, they didn't have it on the shelf, so I mentioned it to them to see if they really had it, which they did have it. I guess they didn't even pay attention to this being out. But the interesting thing is, once the young lady brought it out, I was able to smell it, and immediately, right away, I was like, yeah, I gotta have them because this thing smells amazing. And another interesting note is that before she brought my personal one out to buy, they took the tester and it was like about three Sephora women behind the counter. They were looking at it, trying to figure out, okay, not figure out, but they were all looking at the fragrance because it was new and then they started smelling it. And immediately I heard them, they was like, man, this smells really good. So three women right there, you know, all agreed that this fragrance right here smelled amazing. So to me and my personal experience, what I really like about this one, because to me it is a date night type of fragrance, but this is one that in my opinion sits close to the skin. So it's good for those, you know, close contact moments. What I get is a buttery, smooth bourbon with some freshness from lavender and a bit of orange that stings the nostrils. That's what I get. On skin, I would say that upon initial spray, you're gonna get some good projection out of like the first uh, hour to two hours. And then this thing remains a amazing skin scent with a bit of sillage up to about six hours. This is a very handsome fragrance with a bit of sparkle to it because of that bitter orange, but also you have that depth from the bourbon, you know, it's, it's almost like a bourbon that's been aged in oak. So the oak wood and that bourbon note really gives this one a booziness. And actually this fragrance is inspired from an actual drink. It's called a orange bourbon sour. So if you're into boozy fragrances, I would definitely say check this one out because this thing does smell amazing. YSL has put out a great one. And I do think that this one right here, you know, over time will start to develop some kind of hype and this will be a lot of people's favorites in my opinion it has the mass appeal it has that sexy booziness to it and it's just a great all-around fragrance i'm pretty sure if you wait a little bit you'll be able to find this one at a great price 
So to wrap this one up, a fantastic smelling fragrance with some booziness, some great bitter orange up top and a freshness from lavender. This one is suitable for day nights. You might want to dress this one up a little bit. And you can also get some casual wear out of this one if you just want to smell good like me. Hey, wear it whenever you want to wear it. You know what to expect with your longevity. Expect about up to a good six hours with this thing being mostly a skin scent with some good sillage to it, especially if the wind picks it up. And yeah, if you are into the boozier type fragrances, this one will definitely feel that need for you. If I had to give this fragrance a rating, I would give this one right here a decent 7.5 a solid one from YSL, a great one to add to the long collection. And yeah, I believe that this one will definitely have some hype with it come the near future. So hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe, click the notification bell. And if you enjoyed the video also, leave me a like or dislike, drop some comments, you know, stuff like that. And also, check out one of these videos.